I think this version of Orfe is uh, very special because the main character, Orfe, is a man, a tenor, and that is more credible uh, for the story. Um, when Orfe is a mezzo-soprano, of course it's beautiful because the mezzo-soprano voice is amazing, but, uh, but sh she is a woman, or he is a woman. <laughs> So uh, I think this is more uh, true, and it works very well with this production. Orfe is a very difficult role because it's like a, a one-man opera. He sings from the beginning to the end, and he, Orfe, is uh, the whole time on stage. Now, the singing is very demanding because it's extremely high. It was written, written for a very high tenor of the time. So, uh, in, in that time, uh, those were almost uh, counter tenors. Okay, so they sang with a falsetto voice and could reach very high notes. Um, but I have a different technique because now the modern technique is not the same and uh, the singing is more natural. So to reach those tessiture, those heights, is very demanding and it, you have to, I, have, I had to rehearse a lot also to, to keep light but also to, to, to be dramatic at the same time. So it's a mixture of light now, singing light and then dramatic. It's a very demanding role because it's very, very high, but also acting-wise is very, uh, you have to be really involved and really portray every emotion and feel the pain really, but do it really from your heart. Via Suiza ne pukitator, Suiza ne pukitator, Dutil m'a coûté la vie, ah non, je ne parlerai pas. You know, you want to really let yourself go, but at the same time, the line has to be always nice.